Mystery surrounds the death of Maureen Kaukani in Ikolomani, Kakamega County, who reportedly died at her home moments after she left a neighbor's residence where she had worked during the day as a casual laborer. Masaya Asadisa, Bibianga Karudi, Akfika Kwa Mlango, Akanguka Kafarik. Nen Meshanga San, Ameniacha na watoto wadogo. One of her two colleagues was left with a swollen stomach, while another allegedly became mentally deranged. Claims that Winnie Misango, their employer, denied. Kuna kitu kama hiyo ilifanyika. Sisi uganga atujui kama ni mama alikufa na tukamuzika. Salama, atujai ona mama, hakuna kitu ilibiwa kwa boma. Sisi tumeishi kwa amani, morin tumejuana miaka mingi. Elsewhere, a herdsman is nursing injuries after he was attacked and seriously injured by two stray lions in Baraki Ward, Lagadera constituency, Garissa County. The herdsman is said to have attempted to scare away the animals which had invaded his camel shed. The lions mauled nine of his camel during the gruesome attack. Meanwhile, the death toll of those who have succumbed to malaria in Tiati, Baringo County, has risen to nine. Area Health Coordinator Joseph Nakopir said the health crisis was occasioned by insecurity, which has driven away non-governmental organizations that offered health care, leaving the few health facilities overwhelmed. At the beginning of April this year, we had a lot of insecurity issue, and the mapping of the places, dangerous and disturbed, really scared a lot of partners. Like uh, one partner had to pull completely call USID through Afia Usasi. And expectant mothers seeking refuge at the Katasairo camp in Lamu County are living in fear of possible infection of their newborns owing to the ongoing nurse strike. Those affected said they cannot afford to seek services from private hospitals. <laughs> In Marachi, Busia County, two middle-aged men narrowly escaped death after they were attacked by a group of youth on allegations of selling their national identity cards, weeks to the repeat presidential poll. Confirming the incident, Busia OCPD Makao Masai, however, warned residents against taking the law in their own hands. <laughs> Finally, thousands of border border riders in Kisumu County took to the streets of Kisumu Town to protest at the passing of the Kisumu County Financial Bill 2017. The bill, which seeks to introduce taxes in the border border sector, will see the introduction of daily charges of 20 shillings per rider. We were never consulted in as much as the, uh, the MCS that proposed the bill insisted that they shared with us. We are disappointed with our today's mission because we came here to address and seek permission to address the governor. We expected them to give us their demands or to give us some memorandum of what makes them unhappy. As a county government, up to this point, we have not received any document from their